Okay, folks, Bob at Bob's Classic Cars and Parts. I'm over here at a private yard. Um, I know the guy that owns this yard. He's actually let me come in here a few times. He doesn't let too many folks in here. Um, this this Imperial, I've, I've actually come over here and taken some parts off this car before. And the day I was over here, we couldn't get the doors to open. And uh, it was in the summertime too. And it was weeds growing all up through those cars. You can see it's got holes in the floor. So after several attempts, we just gave up, but uh, I see they've been able to get the doors to open now. This mirror right here, uh, it's a remote mirror, and it's separated right there, but it's got screws, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if somebody was trying to get that off. I'm not the only person who lets in here, but if you guys think that's good, I'll come back over and try to get that. I don't know if I can get the cable through the snake the cable through the door but i don't know we'll see i'm i got a lot going on it's got a nice badging uh this is not a demo car if that's what you're thinking it's not a demo car uh he got it to get the uh i think he found it in the woods and he pulled the 413 out of it i believe it was the deal uh the sheets are rough shape Yeah, it's got the badges on this side too. Door handles are messed up. You know, you got to, uh, well, I guess that one may be still some good. I don't know. What do you think? Like I said, I did get some parts off this car. I got the little horn pad. I got a couple pieces of chrome off of it. At least I thought I did. But, uh, She's a rough, very rough. This was a nice car in her day. Looked like it was blue. Well, I guess a black model top and then it had a blue interior. Or maybe it was white. Yeah, I guess it was white. Yeah, I guess it was white. Hard to say. Anyway. Like this piece of chrome here is done for. We open up the trunk, there's nothing in the trunk. This piece here might be some good. I don't know if the tail lights are gone already, but this piece here, is it any good? We have to take the bumper off to get to it. I think I've got this piece. I, I think I took this piece off the car. Look, the Imperial letters may still be good. It's missing, missing the final L, L there, but uh, this piece of chrome is busted. And this happens from them pushing the thing around. Where they, they had a, I don't see it anymore, maybe down in the yard. Down this, we're just sitting outside the yard. They had a Jeep Cherokee that they pushed the cars around with. This piece of chrome here looks good. It does indeed. But I got a sneaky feeling it's bolted on. This one looks good. Now the dash is intact, but again, trying to, it's such a mess trying to get in there, clean it out, and uh, it's broken glass. It's just, you know, probably just not gonna mess with it, to be honest with you. Maybe some of this chrome around the windshield, if anybody wants any of that, I may be able to come over and get that for you. It may not be too hard to get off, but I think the rest of it is pretty much too much trouble for me with my limited amount of time I've got right now. So uh, there you have it, Chrysler Imperial LeBaron. I guess that's what about a '64, maybe. All right. Seems like I got a piece of the, I got a piece of the grill off of it too. One side of the grill was good. I took that. I still have that. If anybody needs it. So uh, there you have it, folks. A uh, once glorious big old luxury Chrysler. Oh, Steve, see if we can get this hood up. <clears throat> I don't think we can get the hood up. There we can. See if you help me raise that up, Steve. My, my buddy Steve's here. Oh, it's got the motor in it still. There we go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Guess he didn't pull the 413 out of it. Okay, great. Uh... Well, that's saw uh, it's got the five bolt valve cover that would that, it still could be a 413 but that that is not i don't think that's the original engine 
unless this is more. When did they do away with the four volt valve covers? Was it was it 64? The hood hinges aren't any good. But uh it's got the old style valve cover, but it's the five bolt. Anyway, I see some cool parts in that steel crank engine. But I'm sure she's froze up. Even the intake mount of the battery pan is rusted out and exposed to water. So they come over popping them valve covers off though. Steve's struggling to hold that hood up. Let me see if I'll stick my shoulder in helping me. Yeah, maybe the pulleys and the uh, valve covers might be salvageable. What about this battery tray, Steve? I'll hold it. Can you wipe your hand? Look, it ain't nothing gonna bite you. It's, 40, it's 20 degrees over here. <laughs> Watch your head, dude. That thing look like it's good? I see one hole in it. This is supposed to be there. Oh, here's one. There's a hole, it's kind of rusty. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, I see some holes in it. Yeah, that's, that's not any good. All righty, folks. Well, like I said, there's a power booster, but trying to get that damn thing off be too much trouble. For me, it would be. But look how they made this. This is, isn't that amazing? I don't see where it separates. Maybe they blended the body line. Add to it. It's a shame this car deteriorated this badly. All right, folks, there you have it. Chrysler Imperial LeBaron. We're going to move on and grab us another video.